praise the Lord everywhere. Anywhere you are, just lift your hands and say, praise the Lord. Whether you are at school, whether you're on your bed, in your car, praise the Lord everywhere. I'm here to share the word of God with you. Today I want us to look at something at Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse number 12 and 13. The Bible says that the Lord will send rain at the proper time from his rich treasury in the heavens and will bless all the work you do. You will lend to many nations, but you will never need to borrow from them. If you listen to these commands of the Lord your God that I am giving you today, and if you carefully obey them, then the Lord will make you the head and not the tail. And you will always be on top and never at the bottom. Eradi be buena de pa kurabia a eye osono amawo. Na to wasa si si nsio ni bremu. Na wo shira wo nsan wo jume nina. Na wo de be fem amanama mpi. Na wo de wo ore mfem obi wo bribi. Sa wo tie eradi wo nyan ko pombre nsem a. Me re she wo neyi se wo be she aya. O si enye eradi be ma wakon kain na wo re nketori. I will be Koswara Nawori Mrasida. This is the word of God. It is self explanatory. I don't need to even digest it. But I just want to share some viewpoints with you so that it can encourage you so that you can keep on serving God because there are benefits in serving the Lord. You see, anyone who serves God, God lifts the person up. The Lord lifts up those who trust in him. So whenever you make up your mind to serve God, God blesses you. This scripture makes us understand that God is interested in both our spiritual well-being and our material well-being. The Bible talks about good treasure in heaven. That is God's treasure house in heaven. And God, that is the place that God blesses us from. Three points that, that I can get from this, this passage of the scripture. Number one, it says their land will be watered. This means that God will open to them the fountains of water so that their crops will grow and produce much fruit. Ministry, anything that concerns you, God will open the fountains of water upon those things, and then you will begin to see increase of produce, blessings upon blessings. You begin to see supernatural growth. This indicates that the blessings of God even causes nature to favor us. So besuna bayama. Number two says that they will give and not borrow. When you serve God, God begins to bring you to a point of being a lender and not being a borrower. The Bible says that the borrower is subject to the lender. The mindset of God is that his children will rise to the occasion where they are the lenders and not the borrowers. This means that you are always becoming givers and not just receiving. He just says something is more blessing to give than to receive. So God's blessings enables us to become givers so that we will always be able to help others. 
na me katere Abraham say me shira na why ye en shira ama fofro the reason god blesses us is so that we will become a blessing if the blessing on you is not making you to become a blessing to others i don't think that is a blessing because the blessings of god makes you a blessing to others and that is what the bible is saying that when someone becomes a lender you serve God, he causes you to rise to this stature in the realms of the spirit and even in the natural way, supernaturally, things begin to work out for your good. You who used to borrow, now you don't borrow anymore. That's what the blessing of God can do. The final point that I want to make in this uh, passage of the scripture, it says that there will be the head and not the tail. This means that your life is always above. It is a life of honor. It's a life of promotion. It is a life of dignity. That, that's, that, that means wherever you are, God can lift you up and cause people to look up to you. You become that rejected cornerstone now. That is what the blessing of God can cause a man to become. The Bible says that he lifts the poor from the dung hill and set him among the princes. That is what the blessing of God can do to a man. It is a life of honor. It is a life of promotion. It's a life of dignity. And so God wants to bring his children to a realm of wonderful wealth, untold riches. So allow yourself and align, align yourself so that the blessings of God can rest and settle on your life. You see, when God blesses you and promotes you, even if you are the little one, the, 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 the whole family comes to you for support. Have you forgotten what God did with Joseph's life? People can come to you for counsel. They can come to you for even prayer. We will not sit until he comes. Sana nya min shira e de e oni pe biya. Now saying shira making is only for the children of God. Therefore, if you are not a child of God, then I want you to accept Jesus Christ because there is a blessing of the world and there is a blessing of the Lord. The blessing of the Lord, there is peace involved. The blessing of the world, there is so much catastrophe, sickness, one upon the other, and danger. As a matter of fact, when, uh, when an unbeliever rises, the, the, the end result is the person will finally come down. But the blessing of God on his child is constant. You want a lasting blessing then i want you to welcome jesus into your life god is a god to everybody but he's only a father to his children so say this prayer after me lord jesus forgive me of all my sins and come into my life wash me clean oh lord and be lord over my life If you pray this simple prayer, I welcome into the family of God. And I pray that the same grace that has brought you in will sustain you unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you everywhere and may God promote you. Bye-bye.